Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we're going to take a look at the user interface and the macro functions and the light options for the uh, Genius Manticore. Um, that's the keyboard. Obviously, you can see the keyboard on the screen here. Um, quite a bit of options, quite a lot of uh, you know choices to make. Um, one thing I like, if you go up here to the top where you can minimize or just close the program, it has a little question mark on a third button. If you click that, <clears throat> it pretty quickly opens up a uh, web page by Genius, giving you step-by-step walkthrough instructions exactly how to set it up and you know everything, what to do. It's a pretty big web page. Uh, I've looked over it some, and I'm pretty much going to cover some of the main points uh, that you'll need to know to get started from this web page. But... I mean, a lot of it is going to be pretty self-explanatory, um, you know, when it comes to things like you've got four tabs across the top here, assign buttons, manage macro, advanced settings, and light options. Uh, you know, everything's just exactly like it sounds, light options. You can change the lighting on it. It gives you a little preview here in these little boxes. Each section, like I showed it earlier in the video, each individual section of the keyboard uh, lights up individually so um, and you can simply choose the section by clicking here and then pick any color you want it to be it will automatically set it up for that different colors you can see uh, equal different number settings here <clears throat> pardon me um, or you can pick from up here oops you know you can just click in the box and you can see it'll just set it up for whatever which also again changes the numbers um, and of course if you want to just fiddle with it you can set the numbers yourself you can you know just see what it does well if I could click it correctly just to see what it looks like that's obviously a very very pale yellow um, you know if I go all the way everything it's a white you know anyway so many different choices uh, and then when you hit apply obviously it just saves it for a second loads it up and then if you could see the actual keyboard it, it really does it lights up it's very very much this color right here and I do have red on the rest of it I just went all red because it matches the rest of my setup um, Anyway, that's pretty simple for the light options. Again, you can do each section individually, and you can save three different profiles there. So that goes with your uh, the three profile buttons at the bottom beneath the space bar. You can barely see them here in the image. Uh, but you have your three different profiles, and I can switch between those by touching. You see I'm not clicking anything on the screen. I just touch the button there, and then I could save you know different color profiles with of course different macros and different button assignments so let's get into button assignments you're gonna be able to choose you can see it lights up as I pass over you can choose just about any button you want I'm gonna leave them the way they are but literally you can you can change all the buttons so uh, you know if for whatever reason if you wanted to use uh, the ES oops I can't press buttons while I'm doing this if you wanted to use like the ESDF instead of WASD or something like that you could just you know move it over there and put in W and click OK and now your my E button is now the W button you know things like that um, I'm actually going to undo that before I confuse myself and can't type anymore uh, but so every single individual button, every single one, as at least as far as I've been able to tell, uh, maybe not things like Windows key. Yeah, look, every single one, even the function keys. Um, okay, not the media keys across the top. Um, but yes, every single button can be reprogrammed to serve as any other button you want it to be. Uh, and then you've got as far as like these uh, G buttons basically the macro buttons on the side you see them here um, you've got different ones of those for like your 
G1, G2, G3, etc. And you can set those up for different things. Office function, you can make it zoom in or zoom out so that you can quickly, uh, obviously, zoom in and out from documents or images or anything like that. You can set it to a basic function, whether it be copy, paste, cut, undo, redo. If you do a lot of uh, paint or Photoshop or you know anything like that, or even working in uh, Microsoft Office or Word, anything like that, you'll be able to use that. Uh, media functions, you can see you can set that for play or pause, volume up and down, uh, skip to the next song or, or track or movie or video, whatever it is, or previous. But then uh, the important part is the macros. You can select macros. Now, I haven't done the manage macro yet, but had I already created a macro, I could come in here and, and just scroll down through my list and make it. So let's hop over there and get to that part. For manage macro, um, it's pretty simple, but it's fairly complex also in the there is a lot of customization and the macros can be pretty big but let's keep it pretty simple for now um, I myself I hardly use macros uh, outside of just a few games but I know that a lot of people really really love macros and for especially in uh, big MMO games and things like that for for things like PvP I know that macros are very very popular uh, because it's you know it, it can be game changing um, it can make or break you it's pretty simple to get started you hit the record button and then whatever you do I lied oh you have to create new my mistake and you have to name it so you know one of the more popular MMOs is WoW so we'll name it WoW Pardon me. So that's your wow button. You can hit your. You can change your delays in milliseconds. You can choose different basic commands. We're not going to do any of that. Uh, again, we're going to create, you know, just a number macro as though I were giving it commands for a, you know whatever character to make certain moves at certain times. So I hit record and type one and then three and then one again and then two again and you can see it records perfectly the uh, amount of milliseconds between each press and everything and if that doesn't work exactly you can go in and change that you can either delete the delay I don't know how to add it back in now I may have messed up but uh, you can also adjust it you can adjust the delay up to just about whatever you want, I think. That's at 1,900 milliseconds. Let's set it for 2,000 milliseconds just so you can see it change. And that's how easy that is. And uh, so then, you know, say, for example, you were playing a certain character and you have to use a combination of spells or abilities or something. Um, either way, you get the idea. You know how macro works. That's how easy it is to create new macros. Uh, or obviously you can import them if you have them saved somewhere uh, you know from another you can save macros from different websites things like that there are a lot of macros out there uh, I know I've seen more than a few and then of course you can set that for different profiles and uh, you're ready to go then um, your advanced settings goes into your different profiles and you can basically turn the window lock key on and off um, and uh, that's really about it not not too much in the advanced as, as much as I thought it was going to be um, but uh, again so that's the basic functions for assign buttons uh, light options so let's go back over here so we created a macro right we named it wow so we can go back over here now and go to the macro function and select the wow macro and then you'll be able to see uh, let me just pull up notepad here real fast whenever I press that G1 did I do it right? no something's not right
Maybe it doesn't work on this notepad here. I thought it should. Oh, I thought I set it up. Oh, I didn't save it, I think. I didn't save it. Sorry, I was talking to you guys and I forgot to just click apply. Uh, but you get the point. So once that's done, you see it loaded up and then I press the G1 button and it goes through. You see it even had the delay there and it went through. I did not type that out. I just pressed G1. Do it again. You can see in the same timing. There it goes. So, uh, and that's how macro formation or creation works. Uh, pretty simple deal. Um, pretty nice, good, easy to use, a lot of options. Uh, I really, really like it. I love it when they make something that easy um, and versatile. You know, I mean, I know other programs can be pretty versatile, but they can be pretty complex also. Uh, so Genius has really knocked it out of the park with their GX gaming line here on uh, this particular keyboard um, and again the keyboard itself using it feels great um, it's not mechanical but you know for people who prefer not having a mechanical keyboard uh, it's just gonna gonna be a wonderful keyboard so uh, I'm gonna get out of here and wrap it up and thanks for watching